The title of our research paper is Exposition Light Rail Safety for Pedestrians and Drivers. This is the most authoritative research on the safety of any light rail being done in the United States, I can attest to that. Um, this, uh, what I would like to read is a line from this report. So, quote, Every great crossing is an accident waiting to happen. Thank you. Every great crossing is an accident waiting to happen. And I'm sorry to say this is not my statement. I quoted that from Los Angeles Times, September 9, 2003, page B4. The statement is by Mr. David Solo, S-O-L-O-W, the executive director of the Southern California Regional Rail Authority, Metrolink. It is the statement of the Metrolink executive director that every great crossing is an accident waiting to happen. What looks to be cheap initially could be very expensive on the long run. How do you measure 50 years, 100 years from now, because this is a project from now to forever, we should build it right, we should build it the best way we can, we should be proud of what we built. We don't want good enough, minimum standards, cheap enough, it'd be more expensive that way. I don't know the legality of this, but for sure, the people of this neighborhood do not want the project the way you propose it. They just don't. And except for Mr. Burroughs, now one person came up and said, this is a good project. It's not a good project. It's going to raise havoc in this neighborhood. Vibration, noise, dirt, bells, whistles, 20 hours a day, people won't sleep. And not to have great separation, major injuries, major accidents, it's not acceptable. We're a rich country. We could afford better than the very minimum. What is cheap today will be expensive in the long run. Then there's another question which really concerns me is the precedent you set. If you do not make great separation in Dorsey, don't make great separation on Overland or West. I'm from New York and I can tell you there are no subway systems, train systems that run that way. It's just incomprehensible that you would consider bringing something as important as this mass transportation to Los Angeles in the 21st century and have it doing this up and down kind of thing. I would be embarrassed just to even have that conversation. That's the voice, just, you know, locally it may be some issue, but just looking at it from outside, it's incomprehensible. Secondly, something else to consider while we're concerned about our children and the train tracks, etc. But with the population density around here, I would also be concerned with just having tracks above ground because anything that could obstruct that, you're not talking about just our kids that would be killed. If there's a train wreck, all those passengers are going to be injured if not killed. If you think about Glendale and what happened, a car was sitting on the tracks. Etc. So you put everyone at risk, not just our children, but everyone who's riding in this particular vicinity with all these kids and everybody else for whatever might happen on those tracks that are just exposed to anyone that happens to stroll along. So that's a very big exposure and something to consider. Thank you. There's also a proposal by MTA to run a train down Crenshaw Boulevard from Wilshire all the way down Crenshaw to either Sydney or Century to get people from downtown to the airport. So add that to the expo line, and we would literally be boxed in. We couldn't move freely back and forth through the community. And so this really just seems kind of like a no-brainer. I mean, if the MTA blue line was kind of flawed, why put another flawed system in? Uh, to quote, it says, you need to be looking at great separation, said Wendell Cox, a national transportation consultant who was a member of the LA County Transportation Commission from 1977 to 85, when much of the planning of the blue line occurred. It's not fair to blame motorists. It's a terrible cop-out to blame pedestrians or kids to say they were at fault. Okay, that's what this commissioner said. I've lived a lot of different communities that have light rail systems. I lived in San Francisco for 18 years. And maybe you're not from Los Angeles. There is incredible pressure on the public here because we don't have a decent transit system. 
incredible pressure on our transportation system and it increases the amount of risk at intersections, even according to this PUC's own engineers, far higher than probably any metropolitan area in the country. And it is not the citizens that are causing the problem, it's a low standard of engineering of the crossings.